Jess and I are at the Greensboro Psyquarium and Zoo. Right now we're at the zoo part. So we're going to see some cool stuff like a gang of what? Meerkats. Jess's favorite. We're going to see some other stuff. I'm not even going to tell you because I'm not trying to spoil it for you. So stay watching because it's going to be awesome. Jess. Yes. Awesome. <laughs> This is Jess, and I'm really excited right now because my favorite animal that I've never been able to see really close is out in their gangs. They live in gangs, good gangs. These are meerkats. <laughs> I love them. And they like to dig. And he's digging. Look at him. <laughs> this is my buddy, and he doesn't know it because he keeps coming to say hi. But yeah, it's a beautiful day. All right, what's up? We have a couple tortoises in this enclosure, an Aldabra and an African Spur uh, tortoise, sometimes called a Sulcata tortoise. But both of these are just amazing animals. They eat grasses and fruits and things like that. Uh, the Aldabra, they say, is really buoyant, which is why you see them on all these outlying islands on the east coast of Africa. And these guys get to be between 50 pounds and even 150 pounds for the bigger African spur thigh tortoise. It's just an amazing animal, and I love seeing these guys. They're so cool. I'm currently standing in this tiger spray zone. A little nervous about that, but hopefully he doesn't have to pee. Uh, they're very beautiful animals. Both of them are out today. That one's a little bit bigger, but they're really beautiful. All right, check it out. To my right right here is a male peacock. Now this animal is a crazy cool animal because what they'll do is they'll spread those really colorful things look like eyes on the back of their tail, their feathers, and they'll kind of make a big display to be either threatening to something trying to hurt them or to, to attract females. So people say like you're proud like a peacock. Well they'll spread these big things out to look really big and proud and puffed up so that they can attract their mates and look bigger than they really are and scare away things that are trying to hurt them. They're just a beautiful, beautiful animal. Uh, just look how blue his neck is. This is a crazy beautiful animal. So check this guy out. This is an anteater. Uh, when he's hungry, he doesn't have to use his teeth because he has a two feet long tongue. Uh, by which he eats 30,000 insects a day. Sounds like my kind of guy, except minus the insects. Pretty crazy looking, pretty cool. Did you know that there are no penguins in the North Pole? All the penguins are in the South Pole in the Southern Hemisphere. Whereas there are no polar bears in the Southern Hemisphere, they are only in the Northern Hemisphere. Because if those two lived together, it would be a massacre. So this is Gwen. He's my new friend. <laughs> we don't 
don't know each other very well yet, but I think he told me that he wants to come home with us and to live in our bathtub and then we'll build him home. Did you know that penguins are loyal to one mate, just like we're loyal to each other because we're married? No.